Hi, I'm Kelly Goodner, the STEM Programs Coordinator here at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. I'm here today to talk about our 2022 Robotics Challenge. This year, the theme is the Battle of the Atlantic. So let's dive in. This year's theme is the Battle of the Atlantic, the longest continuous military campaign of World War II. The battle was fought between the Allies and the European Axis powers and lasted from 1939 to 1945. The German Navy's main objective was to prevent much needed supplies from North America from reaching the United Kingdom and other European allies, including the US Army forces. On the opposing sides of the battle were the Allies, including the United States Navy and Merchant Marine, the British Royal Navy, and the Royal Canadian Navy. Fighting against them were the Axis forces, including the German Navy with their surface warships and U-boats, the German Air Force, and until 1943, the Italian Royal Navy. The Battle of the Atlantic involved thousands of ships in more than 100 convoy battles, in addition to single ship encounters between each side. Over the course of the war, the Allies slowly and steadily turned the battle in their favor with advancements in technology, including the successful cracking of the German Enigma code machine, the development of anti-submarine technology, and through manufacturing output, building more cargo ships than the Axis were able to sink. More detailed information about each of the mission objectives I will be talking about will be available to download on the World War II Museum's robotics webpage. This year, teams can use either the Spike Prime or the Mindstorm EV3 robot. So the robot game is two minutes and 30 seconds long. During this time, teams will try to complete as many mission objectives as possible. The goal is to have the most points at the end of the game. You can do these in any order you wish. So this is headquarters. This is where you will launch your robot. This is also the only area of the map where you can touch your robot without receiving a touch penalty. So your robot will always need to return to this section of the mat. If you have any additional questions, more information can be found in the team packets that are available to download on our website. So our first mission is move the convoy of ships. So we're going to take these five ships from the port in North America and move them as a group to the green circle here in the United Kingdom. Our next mission is rescuing the soldier. So we're going to take our army man right here and take him back to headquarters, drop him off there. So this is our Lee light mission. For this, you're going to turn on the touch light and if it's on at the end of the match, you get points. So this is our Huff Duff mission. For this, you're going to move your chopstick with the goal to get it in the green section of the mat. If you get, this will get you the most points. If you get it in the orange or the yellow or red sections, you'll get some points, but not nearly as much as if you get it in the green. Our next mission is capturing a U-boat. So we're going to take the U-boat from off the coast of Africa and we can either deposit it in the red circle off Bermuda for more points, or you can take it all the way back to headquarters. You'll get points, but not nearly as much as if you leave it in Bermuda. So this is our Merchant Marine Academy graduation. So we're going to take the graduation cap and throw it up in the air. It doesn't matter where it lands on the mat, as long as it leaves the mat and moves from its uh, square, you'll get points. Our next mission is crack the Enigma code. So you're going to take your pill bottle from over here in the United Kingdom and take it all the way to headquarters. From there, you can open it up, take out the code, hand this to your teammates, and they can decode the message while you're continuing with the rest of the robot game. If the message is decoded by the end of the game, you'll get additional points. So the next mission is close the mid-Atlantic gap. And they did this by air cover. So we're going to take our airplane from headquarters and move it to the yellow rectangle. The next mission is fire a torpedo. So we're going to take our ball from headquarters and drop it into our cup. This is our ASDEC or sonar mission. So you're going to move your robot into the circle and have it stop. And from there, both the Spike Prime and the EV3 robots can make noise. So you're going to have your robot make a sound and then it can continue on with the rest of its missions. So this mission is build a Liberty ship. So you're going to take your gray blocks from headquarters and move them into the purple rectangle. The more blocks you have stacked, the more points you get. 
For this season's engineering project, your team will choose one invention or application used during the Battle of the Atlantic and develop a working attachment for your robot modeled after the historical example. You won't be able to display your modified robot at the competition because your robot will be competing in the matches. Instead, you can display attachments, use photos and videos or diagrams to explain how your attachment works. You can also use materials other than Lego at pieces for your attachment for this part of the competition. Your team will need to create a trifold board display to communicate and display your design process and the research that went into what invention or application your attachment is based on. This year, we will be hosting a virtual qualifier in April. More information will be sent to registered teams. For the championship, information will again be sent to qualified teams. Thank you again for joining me. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to the email on the screen. Thanks again and good luck.